a bit messy in here. I think we're gonna have to clean up. Hello, I've been expecting you. Actually, it's a bit dark in here. Shall I turn on the lights? There, that's better, isn't it? So as you can see, the studio is looking like a little bit of a tip at the moment. So what we're hoping to do today is to clear out some of that stuff and get a nice bit of redecorating done in there so it looks a bit more tidy, spacious and recording friendly. Whilst we're doing that, I thought it might be a really good idea for James to show you some of the recording equipment that we actually use. The things that are actually going to go into this beautifully redecorated studio. So, I've got to go make some food because I'm hungry. So let me pass you to James. I didn't realise how much Megan acted like a Bond villain. It can't be just me that thinks that. Now, Megan was definitely right that this room needs to be tidied. It is an absolute tip. We're going to clear out the room and continue on painting the walls and do some decorations with some of the things that we've bought to accentuate the room. Anyway, I'm here to talk gear. First, cameras. Now we have two cameras, or at least we would have two cameras if Amazon actually hurried up with their delivery today. More on that later. I'm definitely not impatiently waiting for a new present to be delivered and checking my phone every five minutes. Are you still waiting for that camera? Could you do something more productive, please? You know, like Hoover the living room or the bathroom he's cleaning and you have a... Can you put that phone down? I'm talking to you. So our main camera is an A6400 by Sony. It's a mirrorless camera and it's got detachable lenses. It's also got an APS-C sensor, so effectively a half size sensor compared to a full frame camera. But because of that, it's much cheaper than some of its full frame equivalents. And in good lighting conditions, the quality of the image, you wouldn't be able to discern between its full frame counterparts at two to three times more expensive. The main challenge though is that it collects less light per pixel and then doesn't really do very well in low light conditions and can get quite noisy, which is why we're looking for an additional camera to complete our set. Next, onto lenses. So we do have a few lenses to complete the setup. The first is what I'm using right now, which is the 16 millimeter F 1.4 lens that's manufactured by Sigma. It's a great lens, really great image quality, and it gives a really good field of view for these sorts of one-on-one -on -one conversations or when we're vlogging outside. The main downside though is it doesn't have any stabilization built into the lens. And similarly, the A6400 doesn't have any stabilization built into the camera. So when they're paired together, things can get a bit shaky. This being said, this is the lens that we use for 99% of our filming. And when paired with a gimbal, you can get over that shakiness that is inherent because there's no stabilization built into the system. Our second lens is the Sony 24mm to 105mm full frame lens. It's f4, so the cheaper variant versus the f2.8, which only goes up to 70mm. Really, really great lens, but because this camera isn't fantastic in low light, it's an f4 is too slow really to use inside. So it's a perfect lens for outside to get some good B-roll. So why did we get a full frame lens? We've got an APS-C camera, so really we should be buying APS-C lenses, which are a bit cheaper. Well, really we, we had a view that we were actually going to upgrade to a full frame camera. So it made more sense for us to start investing in full frame glass. It's a bit more expensive, but will last us for, for the long term. But enough about gear. We need to clear this room and I'm gonna get Megan to help me with some painting and some heavy lifting. We'll see how well that goes. A few moments later. So, it's finally dinner time. We're having a wonderful meal right now. And Eloise has decided to throw a bowl off the table in <laughs> frustration. Now, we have been doing a bit of decoration, but it's not been going as quick as we expected, primarily because we've got Eloise and maybe one of us is a bit more lazy than the other. I'm looking after your daughter, thank you very much. Hey, who says I was saying, talking about you? It was implied. It was true. Oh. 
I mean, uh, Eloise has given her a seal of approval, so I'm happy. I think to give you credit, though, in terms of getting the room ready, it's always going to take a bit longer than you expect anyway. It isn't, it isn't an easy task to do, and we do have the baby. And that's always going to make things a little bit more tricky. And she has been going through sleep regression at the moment, so... Yeah. That makes everything ten times more difficult. But hey, at least you've still got something to look forward to. Yeah, when is my camera arriving? Exactly. So James, what plans have we got for decorating the room tonight? Obviously, we've got to keep in mind Eloise's need to sleep. James? James? Oh, for goodness sake. It's here. It's beautiful. So, what have we purchased? Well, this is a new camera. We knew that we needed another camera. It's useful for us both to be able to film when we're out and about. And I wanted to get a bit of an upgrade. And this is a full frame camera. This is the Sony A7C. So, as you can see, it's a much bigger sensor than the APS-C camera. And if I wobble it up and down, you may be able to see, you might not be able to see, it's got in-body stabilization. So the sensor itself um, actually moves up and down to compensate for wobble, which the A6400 does not have. So we're hopefully gonna have a bit more of a smoother, less shaky, free world going forward. How doesn't that look amazing? Whenever you switch something on for the first time, you always have to set the time. Most boring of things that you'll ever have to do in your life. And they make you go through that whole process for something that is so exciting, new and amazing. Got to be some bad design decisions that lead people to think that's a good idea. Aha. So, there's no memory card. And apparently the battery's exhausted. And I'm sort of feeling that way after some very difficult nights with Eloise. Hmm. I'll be going downstairs and finish off our dinner. A few more moments later. So the room's finally finished. We got all the painting done, rearranged some furniture, bought some new stuff, even got that new plant I wanted. You wanna come see? Come on. Well, come on then. Ta-da! Okay, so this is our new guest room slash studio. Let me give you the tour. So this is a window. Nothing really new about that, but we do have a new curtain rod so that we can put up some nice curtains to block out the sun <coughs> when we need to. Over here, we have a storage unit, which we already had, but we've just revamped it a little bit and shifted it along so we can store a couple of things in there. Some books to make people think we're smarter than we actually are. Some nice ornaments, some from Mother's Day, and some Pop Funko figures, which I actually really love. On this wall here, we have our camera equipment. One massive light that is there to just give us some nice uh, lighting, make us look better when we're filming and potentially blind us as well. And then the tripods go there too. Over here, you can see we've got another storage unit. Again, one we revamped and just shifted into the corner. You can see a nice little stormtrooper light finally being put to good use. And you can see my fake plant in the corner. Hey, do you wanna hear a joke? Do you wanna hear a joke? Go for it. What sort of plant would you give to your significant other? I don't know. A bay tree. I'm here a week. Someone's got a laugh. And then we have our sofa bed. The actual sofa bed itself is something that isn't necessarily new, but the stuff on it is. Let me sit down and show you. So as you can see, we have three or four new cushions. A couple of them are Disney themed ones, Mr. and Mrs. Pretty awesome, I think. A nice cheesy cushion about how family makes a house a home. So sweet, isn't it? Eloise likes it apparently. And because we live near Woolerton Hall, it made sense. Get a Batman cushion. Why not have a cushion of where Batman lives? Obviously. And there is this awesome teddy bear throw that we've got on the sofa bed as well. It is so comfy, it could make me sleep here. Anyways, that was the tour. Come sit with me. <sighs> So there you have it, our guest room slash YouTube studio is finally ready for use. I think it looks pretty good 
as we expected. It's taken us a lot longer than anticipated and I think we're really tired now. But I really, really like it. I really like it as well. Um, and I'm not surprised that we've had trouble getting this room done as quickly as we wanted to because obviously we have a little one here and we did have this trouble before anyway and if you haven't seen the last video I'll post a link down to that in the description down below uh, but recently she's been giving us a little bit of what we call sleep regression so that's added an extra challenge on top of trying to actually get this room done I miss my sleep I miss my sleep too it's, it's coming back to us gradually yeah. Maybe in about 18 years, who knows. But hey, at least this room's ready for use and more of our videos will be done in here, which would be great. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like what you've seen today, like this video, leave a comment down below and subscribe to our channel to see our everyday goings on and our journey through filming and parenthood. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.